Today, we're gonna answer the top five first time home buyer questions that I get. First question, how much money do I need for a down payment? So for a down payment on your first home, most people think you need 20%, but the average first time home buyer only put down, how much do you think? Five? Six. Six percent. All home buyers, the average down payment is 14%, and what do you think the repeat down payment is for a repeat buyer? Uh, they're probably closer to 20, I would say. Closer to 20, just under, so it's 17%. And there are some loans where you can put down as little as 3.5%. If you're a veteran, they have programs where you can put down 0% and do 100% financing. So what you're telling me is that you need a lot of money? Basically, yeah. Question number two, how much are closing costs? Right, first you have your down payment and that's totally separate from the closing costs. The closing costs are gonna pay like your appraisal fee, your title insurance, escrows, all that fun stuff. And that can be between two and 5% of the loan amount. So if you're borrowing 500,000, your closing costs can be between 10 and 25,000 depending on the loan type. Different loans have different fees. So you need your down payment plus closing costs. How long is it gonna take to find a house and close on it? To actually find the house that you want, that's gonna depend on the market. It's gonna depend on how much inventory there is, but I would say you wanna plan at least a month or two of house hunting before you actually find the house. And then once you find the house from there to the closing date, it can be 30 to 45 to 60 days, depending. So you wanna plan probably for at least four months before you actually wanna move. What I'm hearing you say is you gotta kiss a lot of frogs before you find the prince. Right, you might be dating someone and then you realize that you don't actually wanna marry them, so you have to go find somebody else. What if it fails inspection? Now that's a big worry, right? Because you're spending a ton of money and then you're going to the home inspection and they are gonna basically tell you everything that is wrong with the house. So it's very normal to leave a home inspection feeling horrified <laughs> and say, what am I getting myself into? This is crazy. So it's important to like take a step back and say, okay, what are the issues? What can I deal with? What, or maybe there's something that's a deal breaker and you decide that you don't want to buy the house anymore. So if you're still in your home inspection period, you can back out, get your initial deposit back. You lose your home inspection money, but you don't have to move forward. Or you could ask the seller for a credit. You could ask the seller to fix it. So you have different options if the home inspection doesn't go as smoothly as you hallucinate that it will because it won't. I mean, Susan, let me ask you, how many home inspections have gone smoothly in your career? <sighs> not many. I mean, there's not that it hasn't gone smoothly, it's just there's always a long list of things and it can be very scary. So you've gotta like be ready. How do I get a good deal? Everybody wants a good deal, especially right now, everything is so expensive. Things that are cosmetic upgrades will typically increase the value more. So what does that mean? If you're looking at a house that has upgrades that are not pretty, but they're structural, like a roof, electrical, heating system, people aren't gonna go into a house and go, oh my God, I'm gonna buy this house, it's awesome. You should see the roof, it has the best roof I've ever seen. Nobody cares. They are gonna spend more money on the kitchen, the bathroom. So if you see a house that has the structural components done, but maybe not the cosmetics, there's usually room for some sweat equity to increase the value. Versus if you buy a house that has a pretty kitchen, pretty bathrooms, but it needs heating system, roof, windows, siding, those improvements are not gonna increase the value as much. So a better deal typically is the structurals are updated, but maybe it needs some cosmetics. You really wanna look at the bones. You don't wanna just buy a house because it's pretty like Paul. 